Hey everybody, my name is Sistergul and this is Banished. So this is a fairly new game, I've not tried it before, I mean I've just uh, recently finished the tutorial uh, yesterday and now I feel like I'm ready to play it. It's a city building game but it's not like any city building game that I have encountered before because it's actually, I mean it's not in the modern age, it's before that. So let's see what it's all about. Let's start a new mm, new game here. Uh, town name. Yeah, why don't we call it Sisterville? Sisterville. Oh, that's not right. There we go, Sisterville. Uh, map seed. Yeah, why not? I'm just changing the two last numbers. I don't know if uh, that does anything. Now nah, let's make them uh, nine nine. There we go. I feel like that's <laughs> that's better somehow. Uh, valleys, mountains, yeah, I mean, the terrain and the climate, that's pretty important, um, I mean, that's, a, that's at least my understanding of the game, because I don't think you're actually fighting any enemies, but you're fighting nature, because cause the story is you, um, yeah, control, yeah, I kind of want to say you guide instead of control, you guide this group of people that has been banished from the normal homes and now they have decided to settle somewhere else and they are gonna start a new village but disasters are gonna happen um, they can get sick and the nature can tend tend to be really rough I mean that's my understanding of the game so you are actually fighting uh, in nature so to speak so you you're you fighting the urge to uh, survive let's see trying say size uh, large uh, climate, mild, fair, harsh. Yeah, let's make it fair. Disasters, on and off. Well, I feel like turning off disasters is probably gonna be too easy, perhaps. But leaving them on. Yeah, we're gonna leave them on, but I'm probably gonna regret that at some point. I mean, I just know that. Yeah, I, I have no idea what disasters, what disasters are in this game, but let's say an earthquake. Uh, hits the town and uh, half the town is destroyed and I'll be really mad. But let's let's try to keep them on. Starting conditions, uh, medium. Okay, let's see what it says. A moderate game begins with five families, clothing, food, firewood tools and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built, some seeds for fields and orchards are available. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Oh, that actually looks quite cozy. But I mean, this this we see right here. That's some of the problems you're gonna have, because uh, it's gonna get winter, and you are gonna le gonna be needing a lot, lot lots of lots of uh, firewood to keep your citizens warm. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a nice little uh, area here. Oh, look at all this water. Okay, so I'm thinking. Whoa, the map is actually quite huge. Wow, and it's quite windy up here. I'm thinking we are definitely gonna uh, be making fishing uh, a, a resource a food resource uh, that's gonna be our primary method of getting um, food yeah okay so all these little icons with the house here means they got nowhere to live so let's start by putting down some houses uh, let's rotate these yeah let's build them very close as they did the kind uh, as they did at this kind of time uh, so let's do something like this five houses I have no idea if that's uh, gonna be enough okay boom, boom, boom. no idea what this is but we need to assign some workers assign jobs to citizens let's make five builders and let's start clearing out um, this area here and get some wood and some stone and iron and whatever they are gonna find. Uh, there we go. Remove resources. Let's remove all of this and see what happens. Okay, so houses are being built, resources are being gathered. I mean, it looks like we got we got um, five laborers. I mean, up here, five laborers and five builders out of ten. Okay, so we got ten people in total. Yeah, let's do a quick head count here. Uh, where is, yeah, it's this one. So we got ten adults, zero students, and ten children. I mean, that's 
that's pretty easy to remember. And then let's see if we are actually getting more people or they are dying. Because uh, I got the feeling this game can be very hard. But I, again, I have no idea. And then we got these hearts here. That's the average health of our citizens and the average happiness of citizens. I mean, that's the stars. And then we we'll see what we got of materials here. Okay, so we are going to be needing some kind of uh, way to get food. And as I said, let's do some... Uh, Let's start by doing some fishing. There we go. Oh, I should probably turn the other way. Okay, so we are gonna do something like this. Yeah, that's gonna be very. That's gonna be good. Let's make. Now nah, let's just start with one, because I mean they cost like 30 wood and 16 stone, and that's almost all the wood we got, and uh, almost all the stone that we have. Yeah, let's speed up time just a little notch. There we go so that um, we don't have to wait for everything. Can we perhaps uh, stockpile... Mm. Can we expand, expand this uh, somehow? Resource production? Nope. Oh, storage areas. A stockpile used to store raw materials such as logs, firewood, stone, coal and iron. Yeah. Let's see if we can uh, expand this a bit. There we go. Or we actually... Looks like we're just creating another one next to it. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so there are three main things that we are going to have to... Oh, looks like there's no houses above people's heads anymore. And looks like there's also a number with some houses up here, like a little warning. That's gone. So, I mean, I think everybody got a place to live now. It's very good. Oh, the reserve of food is low. Ooh, it's not very good. Oh, and this here, that means uh, somebody is freezing. So the reserve of firewood is also very low. So uh, yeah, the reserve of firewood is low. Uh, okay, I was just about to explain. Oh yeah, uh, we're just gonna speed speed down, <laughs> slow down things again. Um, yeah, there are three things that you're gonna have to gather or or kind of make sure you have. Number one is shelter for your people. Number two is food. Not not necessarily in that order. And number three is a method to, to stay warm, I think. So, I mean, that's firewood. And to get firewood, uh, let's see if we can find some cool areas here. I mean, we are gonna build uh, resource production. We are gonna build a forest of large. Let's say um, that's used to define an area to selectively cut down trees and plant new seedlings. So, I mean, the forest and we will maintain this area here inside the yellow circle. Chop down trees and plant new ones. So we're gonna make it somewhere around here, nice deep into the forest. Uh, I mean, are there better places to do this? Perhaps all the way over here? Nah, let's let's do it around here. There we go. Let's speed up time so that uh, we can see that getting built. And let's make a woodcutter as well, because he's used to chop logs, lo logs, logs um, into firewood, which are then used to heat homes in the winter. So, um, or perhaps we could just, uh, I mean, use to chop logs into firewood, which are then used to heat homes in the winter. Maybe we should just uh, place him here, actually. I was actually thinking of placing the woodcutter next to the to the forest as large. Because um, maybe they could work together. I mean, at least that's what you're doing the tutorial. But let's uh, let's place them here. Because then uh, our uh, woodcutter will just uh, go to the stockpile and collect whatever wood there is. Oh, looks like we are starting to get some resources. And uh, let's see, we got oh, we got no food whatsoever. We really need this to be built. And once it's built, we are gonna assign um, fishermen to uh, the fishing dock, so that we got some people fishing. Oh, look at this! They're just hammering away, building this here. Oh, the water actually looks kind of cool. Okay, uh, it's in. Pr it's uh, working. Enable this production at this location. Well, it's uh, working at the moment, but we need to assign some fishers. Yeah, let's do it like this. I've no idea how many people we got left. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we still got three that isn't assigned to any particular area. Yeah, let's make uh, three people here. 
but it's not gonna be enough just to fish because uh, I mean the health of your people is also very important because disaster could strike uh, sickness could start spreading I don't know um, but a good way to stay healthy is um, a very uh, I mean eat a lot of different stuff if we only eat fish I mean fish is very healthy but if we're only gonna eat fish uh, we are gonna get sick somehow we are gonna uh, lack uh, lots of different vitamins, uh, all that nasty stuff. Oh, look at that! There's uh, some deers in here. Pretty cool. Uh, are they actually building this over here? Or is it way too far off? Let's speed up time and see if there's actually. Yeah, it looks like people are actually working over here. Okay. Uh, nah, just time to. There we go. Oh, it's raining now. Uh, that's some rather peculiar sound effect for the rain. It actually sounds like you're standing in the shower. Um, yeah. Okay. So what to do next? I mean, there's so much stuff that we have to do. Um, food production, resource production. Let's... Um, pasture. Provides an area for li livestock um, to graze. Uh, or are we going to build some corn or whatever we have yeah let's do that let's make a small field um, somewhere around here just a very small one uh, that's perhaps gonna be too small yeah too small boom uh, we're not gonna do it like that mm feel like making it here instead because that way we can make it a bit bigger there we go let's assign uh, oh was no one oh we probably oh we're gonna oh we only got beans well that's gonna just gonna have to do let's assign one. Oh, what's this uh let's let's see uh wood cutter uh we need someone to work here there we go so now we got no one left uh, to work at the uh, forest's lodge. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm just gonna have a sip of water. There we go. Okay, so the fishing dock is um, full production. Let's see, do we have any food? Oh, let's close down this one and this one there. Food? Oh yeah, we actually got some food now. Uh, health of citizens, not very good. We got a little food. I mean, we got some uh, fish somewhere. <laughs> oh, let's make some uh, roads. That way our citizens move a bit faster. There we go. Let's make some up to uh, the farm as well. Some down here to the fishing area. There we go. So we got one farmer working here. Very good. So, I mean, we got some builders, right? How many builders did we have? Oh. Oh, so that's some kind of uh, event log notifications. Okay, let's see. Re uh, food reserve is low, fire was low, boom. We know that. A child named Limit was born. Oh, so that's the fir first child born in the, our little village here in Sisterville. So, we're up to 21 people now. Only 10 adults though, so uh, we need those children to to grow up uh, as quickly as possible. So that we can... Uh, I'm still need this to be built. So that we can um, get a larger working force. And I was actually about to check how many builders we have. Oh, we have 5 builders out of 2. And this is the total number of jobs available in this profession. Well, we don't need that then. Not that many. Let's make another farmer. And okay, so one wood wood cutter, that's that's enough, I guess. So we got logs. Oh, we are starting to get some firewood. That's very cool. So I mean um, I've already seen someone not having enough firewood for the winter, because the winter can be very, very long. I mean at least it feels very long when you don't have that much firewood. So we are gonna prepare as uh, good as we possibly can. We are gonna create lots of firewood. 
And let's see, we should be able to make um, should be able to make a road back here. Yep, there we go. And we can uh, perhaps make. I mean, let's remove these uh, resources back here. Let's move, remove everything here and everything over there. There we go. Um, oh, 